we got our woodland mill in yesterday and we were really excited we've been having grins on our face all morning <laughs> but uh we've got it together this far i was just getting ready to put the tank on it and uh we're getting closer to where we're going to set it up onto our uh frame the rails over here uh one thing i wanted to show you all though pretty quit my earlier video i showed my jacks and everything on here well i didn't know how this was made for sure and how high and everything and you can see my jacks are too tall and these wheels right here that bracket when this rolls on the rails it runs right into my jack by about an inch so i'm gonna modify this i'm gonna cut that weld off that weld off and move it up to here where this is lower than that and then we'll be okay so a little setback there. Those weren't the jacks that we wanted, yeah. but they did not have them and it's COVID. So, you know, no telling when they would have got them. <laughs> it was, yeah. So anyway, that's what we're doing. And we're gonna go ahead and hit this and get it together. But so far the thing is working really well. Haven't got no complaints whatsoever. Well, we're to, we're to the point of putting this piece on and we're missing four of these. So I started thinking Woodland Mills shorted us for four bolts. Well, our dog Brody right there, he likes to pick everything up. And I told my wife, I says, let's look around for a bag. We looked over here, guess what? There's the bag with the four missing bolts. And <laughs> I'm just glad he didn't finish burying them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So we found them, so we're good to go. I guess they were a snack for later. <laughs> Brody, <laughs> look at him. What else did you bury? <laughs> like, oh Hold goodness. up. What uh, else is in there? You got any other bags in there? <laughs> silly boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get ready here. The wind's blowing at least 15, 20 mile an hour. We don't get much wind here, but I got this on here and put a pipe through the poles so it can't come off. So we're gonna get, get this together and you guys can watch me lift it. Got it. Got it. Then I gotta change my jacks. They're too high. We just, we, yeah. Well, we decided to uh, bolt this to the, our legs to, you can see it down here, focus in on that. We're putting bolts in here to my frame. And then we're going to drill a few here and make it really tight. So I need another. Indy, what bolt do I need? What's the book say? What size bolt? Is it a short one or a long one? <laughs> well, look at it and tell me. <laughs> okay, we'll use that one.
uh, it's 26, 27 degrees out. We drained our tank last night, fortunately, so we knew it was going to get cold. We sprayed it with freeze. We didn't have no alcohol or nothing there yet, but or any freeze. So we got it. We cut yesterday several logs. Got some nice wood, some two by sixes, two by fours, some three quarter wood, and uh, thought we'd go with a big one this morning. It's right at 18 inch diameter, and uh, I finally got my jacks back right. Remember I. I told you I had to cut these off and lower my jacks down, and they're all working good so far. And the trailer's staying good and flat. Anyway, we had ice on everything this morning. Fortunately, we covered the head up, so it's not too bad. So we are ready to uh, start cutting this log, and we'll show you some wood we cut out of there. When I get it fired up, we'll show you cutting it.
I'm gonna go sharpen my chain. It needs it. It's doing okay, but it needs to be better. Broke my saw. Well, it was getting real dull. I probably should have stopped and changed it. She broke my saw blade. Why was that not the bell? Yeah. Huh? Let's go look at it. She's been working her saw too hard. I was gonna change it. It was getting pretty dull. It's really broken half? Yes, it's broken half. Should have heard it, man. So, it was loud. Let's come around here. Look right now. Stayed in there, though. Yes, it did. Look at that. Wow. Think I can back it out of there? Oh, uh, no, let's just take it off the mill. Of the wheels? Yeah. And what is. Just pull it off. You better get screws on there and cut yourself. <laughs> now you can back it out of there. The it might pull out. Get out of the guide there. Yeah, this is in the way. Oh, yeah. Let me put a wedge or something in there. Yeah, if we uh, wedge that apart. We'll get back to you guys. Okay, about got it cut in two. I don't think I matched perfect, but I'm going to try to split it. It's a 20 pound ball. I'm gonna have to go get some more splitters, wedges. Crack. 
My. You think those wedges are holding it? I can hear it cracking. Just stay out of the way. I get a long stick or something. There you go. Yeah, those are holding it. Okay. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Man! I thought that was going to go. It's trying to. I shouldn't put two side by side. What about if you took a, a board and put on the end of that and knocked it down low? Get your feet under that thing. Make it wider. Alright, let's try it again. Stand to the end so it don't roll over me. Yeah, that's probably wise. Oh, something's holding it somewhere. Mm -hmm. The bottom side of that was kind of flat, wasn't it? So it's probably not going to roll quite as easy as... It's just the... It's just those. Oh, wow. If okay. I got a pry board, probably. Can you just hit it with your chainsaw? Cut those loose? Stand, put a leg here and here. <laughs> Don't do the splits when I take off. <laughs> this is true. Uh, yeah. If I put my machine right up against it, it can't fall. I know. I don't, I'm not recommending that up whatsoever. Hang on. Here we go, boys. That's it, just keep one side from rolling, the other side can still roll. I don't care about that side. As long as you're not standing on it. Who's running this show here? <laughs> I'm the safety girl. Holy cow, that's a big log. Boy, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Is that pretty or what? Yeah. Show, up, show a close up of that. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Yes, it is. Well, I missed it just a little bit. Not much. Not much, but a little bit. Looks like it's been down a while. It's got some blue at the end. They just cut this one down. Really? Yeah, it was still standing. Huh. Wonder why it's blue. Huh? So I wonder why it's blue. I don't know. Boy, that's gonna be pretty, huh? It's got blue in it though, don't it? We'll get some wood, good wood out of that. It's a lot we of work. We might try to cut some uh, shelving for the cabin. Uh, weren't we gonna put some oak shelves in there? Oak or hickory. Oak yeah. or hickory. Yeah, that'd be pretty. I'm Leave. thinking maybe we ought to go oak since we got oak. <laughs> It looks, it looks pretty. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Leave but a light. That's why we're not working on. Leave a light edge on I'm one side. The camera over here. Oh. <laughs> that's why we're not working on the cabin today. We, we got a late start. I helped a friend of mine haul some wood for him. And uh, so we decided to come down here. This was right in the middle of my driveway as well as that big one over there. And so I'm gonna split it too. The other one's really gnarly. Yeah, I don't it's know really, I think the wood's going to look really good in it with the knots and stuff it's got on it. It's got some big blobs on the side. Yeah. I don't know what the burls, I don't know what they call those. I don't either. But he has the opportunity to get another one and we just decided that we ought to see, if it, it was, <laughs> see if it was feasible yeah. before we drag up a bunch of giant logs into the yard that we couldn't use. But you did good. Yeah. Anyway. We're gonna probably hit, we might hit the cabin tomorrow. I'm gonna hit the hot tub right now, I'm freezing. All right, let's go do it. <laughs> okay. All right.